This is the pond. There's four massive catfish in here. They're gonna smell this for sure. Right there. I got him. Oh my God, I got it, I got it. What is it? That is a big one too. We might have a red tail in the trap right now. We threw it over there. Now it's over here. Oh my Jesus Christ, what is that? Look at him. Oh my God. What's up, BFD Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we are on the hunt for some monster predatory fish to add into my 7,200 gallon pond. Now, in this pond, guys, we have monster red tail catfish, four arowanas, a giant rib saw, tiger shovel nose, iridescent sharks. In this pond, we have some monster fish, but we need more, okay? <laughs> this is my favorite pond right now. I love me some monster fish. They're my favorites. You know, giant red tails. You guys love them as well. And yeah, these videos are really fun where we go out and try to catch them in the wild where people release them, but it's very hard to do because you know coming across a giant red tail or an arowana or an iridescent shark are pretty you know rare in the wild but every now and then we get a tip from someone or we find something and yeah guys i love doing that and recently i got a tip from a subscriber someone dm me gave me an address to a little tiny enclosed pond and they said they themselves put four monster catfish in there now i'm not gonna you know disclose this guy's information or his name because that is illegal, but at least he gave us a spot and gave us an opportunity to go there, catch them, and put them in our pond. They were in his aquarium for a while, and they just got too big. He sent me pictures, but I can't really tell how big they were, and especially them being in a pond now, they could be huge. I've actually been there three nights in a row now, chumming up tilapia and shrimp out in the middle, trying to lure them in, see if they're actually in there, and what do you know, I actually spotted a red tail. So I know this guy's, you know, not full of it. He's telling the truth. So right now, guys, we have tons of equipment preps. We got giant giant cast nets. We got huge monster fish traps that could actually catch some big fish. So we're going to go there and attempt to catch out, I mean, I guess all four of them. But even if we get one, I'm still going to be happy. That would be insane. And we're going to bring them back and put them into my 7,200 gallon pond, guys. Like I said, everyone in here is doing really well. Let's do a little quick feeding. There's Blaze, big old Blaze. Look at the size of that red tail, you guys. Now the fish we could be catching today might be their size. I really don't know, but look at them. Look at them going to town on the shrimp. Look at the size of that red tail. Look at that. Oh, there's Blaze. So that's what we're after today. Monster catfish. I mean, look at them. Look at them right here. Oh, they are so big. They've grown so much in this pond. So yeah, guys, if we get lucky today, we're going to be adding more fish in here that we catch in the wild. Go down there. Leave a like for some good luck. We're going to head there right now. I'm going to show you these fish traps we have, all right? We mean business, okay? I'm feeling lucky, guys. So let's go over there and attempt to try and catch some of these monster fish. All right, you guys, and we're at the spot right now. It's actually been a few days. We've been at it for over a week now, trying to catch these catfish in this little pond behind me. Now, as you can see, it's not that big and it's fully enclosed. Now, what that means, there's no pipes leading to a canal where they can escape. All the fish that he put in here, the four catfish are in here, unless something eats them like, I don't know, an alligator. <laughs> yeah, guys, follow me. We got these giant fish traps, two of them. Look how giant these fish traps are. We've used these previously and we've caught some monster fish. So I thought this was the perfect way to try and catch these red tails and other big catfish in here. So we're gonna bait them up with tilapia, chuck them out to the middle and leave it for a full 24 hours, guys. Now, like I said, we've been at it for over a week now. We haven't done a 24 hour trap. Usually we'll leave it for the whole day. But then I realized catfish come out at night, okay? That's when they go hunting for food. So we're gonna leave these fish traps out for a whole night, come back tomorrow and uh, check them. Hopefully we catch ourselves some catfish. That would be insane, guys. So I think we're gonna place one on this side, right in here in this corner. It gets a little shallow. They might come up here to feast. And then I think we're going to place the second one over there. There's actually some flow. They're like pumping water in. I don't know what that's about, but maybe the catfish will like it. So yeah, guys, this is it. This is the pond. There's four massive catfish in here. We don't know where they are. We don't know how big they are. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited to see if we can get it done, get some of these catfish out today. Let's get started and bait up these fish traps. All right, guys, here we go. We got a bag of tilapia. I've bought in like 10 of these in the past week trying to catch a catfish and we have not succeeded. I probably would have saved money if I just bought a catfish instead of spending the money on the bait it is what it is guys i want to catch one here we go we're gonna bait up these traps couple of fillets each there it goes and final fillet we got two in there and we're gonna have two in this one as well hopefully that's enough for these catfish this stuff is stinky okay they're gonna smell this for sure there they go and here we have it guys we have our two monster fish traps and we're gonna set them in the water right now like i said one's going in this corner and the other on the other side here we go we're gonna throw it right there in the middle 
Oh, that was good. That was perfect. There's the first trap you guys can see right there. It's actually not that deep right there, but over there it gets pretty deep. Okay, guys, we're here on the other side now. I'm actually looking in the middle. I'm seeing a lot of fish come up. They don't look like big catfish. They're actually orange. They're orange fish. Not sure what they are, but I also brought a cast net. We might throw that around. This is the first time I've seen orange fish in here. So we might try to catch those while we wait for these fish traps to marinate. Right, here we go. Look at that flow. The water is pumping out right there. I'm sure the catfish are loving it. So I'm going to chuck it as close to that as possible. Here we go. All right, that's pretty good. These monster fish traps are so exciting. We can literally catch anything. So the pond in general is not big at all. So catching these catfish should not be too hard, but clearly it is. Like I said, we spent a week trying to catch them. I'm going to get that cast net, start swinging it around, see what all we can catch in that. I see one right there under that piece of garbage. There's an orange fish. What is that? Okay, okay, I'm going to throw the cast net. Hopefully I can throw it on him. Guys, I see a big orange fish. Okay, cut the cameras right now. That was horrible. It looks like my cast net malfunctioned there. There we go. Okay. Anything. Like, where are the fish? There's one right there. There's one right there. Oh, that was money. That was right on them. I hope you guys can see it. There's orange fish everywhere. Oh my God, there's a big fish over there too. I don't know what's going on. We're seeing a lot of fish right now. I got him. Oh my God, I got it. I got it. What is it? Oh, it's a Midas cichlid. Are you kidding me? You guys, we got a Midas cichlid. That's what these orange fish were. Look at that. That is so cool. We never catch these things. That is a big one too. I knew it. You guys probably thought I was crazy. I was seeing orange fish everywhere. Okay, I don't know if that guy, the subscriber, put them in here because it is an enclosed pond. So they can't just come in from the canal. That's really interesting, guys. Let's get them. I might keep this thing. Look at the orange on them. That's so awesome, you guys. Beautiful fish right there. First catch of the day, not the catfish, not what we're targeting, but this is really awesome, guys. We're catching some awesome stuff. Let's fill up a bucket and we're gonna get them in there and we're gonna keep this thing. We're gonna throw them in one of the ponds. All right, here we go. We got some water. We're gonna get the Midas cichlid in here. Look at that, he matches the bucket perfectly. <laughs> there he goes, first fish of the day. Let's keep going. We're gonna throw the cast in a little more, see what else we can catch. Well, that's right, a good throw. Like half moon, you know, here we go. Come on, give me something good. What is that? Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh, it's a hoplo catfish. That's cool. Look at the little whiskers on that guy. Okay, that's really cool, guys. And then invasive species here, not from Florida. Oh, we got a dragonfly too. It's pink. Oh my God. Oh, we got to save you. Look at that, guys. Best catch of the day. Oh, well guys, right there is called a hoplo catfish. Very cool fish. We're going to throw them back though. We don't really... We don't really want them. We're just going to keep exploring, see what else we can catch out of here. All right, guys, we're walking around the pond. Look, there's a fake alligator right ahead right there. But we're walking around right now and we're trying to see if we could spot anything like, I don't know, a red tailed catfish because that's what we're here for. <gasps> the line's moved. Look, the line to the fish trap is moved. Oh my God, it did. <laughs> Before it was like further down. Am I going crazy? You see that too, right? No, I see it. Okay, the line has moved. Oh my God, this could be our moment. We might have a red tail in the trap right now. Okay, let's go over there. Guys, the trap moved oh my god there's a wake too the green line to our fish trap it was on the bank before it was on the grass and now it's fully out there literally something big had to have gone in the trap and moved it there's our line it was right here before well now i have no choice but to go in there could be a red tail in there i have to ah! okay this is scary okay i see the trap it's all the way out there this would be the most insane thing ever if we are to get a red tail this is so weird it literally moved so much we threw it over there now it's over here right, here we go moment of truth guys i got it Oh my God! Oh my Jesus Christ, what is that? There's a huge fish in the trap. Did you see that fish? It's a giant freaking snakehead. Oh my God, did you see that? He thrashed so hard, that scared me so bad. I thought it was a red tail, but it's a big snakehead. Look, there's his head. Oh my God, he's huge. Oh my God, he is massive. He takes up the whole trap. That's the biggest one I think I've ever seen, you guys. That is not a red tail, that sucks. But that was in the span of 10 minutes. We already got ourselves a giant snakehead. Look at that thing. Why is the alligator head closer? The alligator head moved closer. He's stalking us. We got a giant snakehead in the fish trap. We noticed it moved across the pond. Not what we're looking for and very illegal to keep. So we're gonna have to release this guy. And there he goes. That thing is monster. Literally probably like 30 inches long. There he goes, just off into the depths. Never to be seen again. Looks like he took a little nibble out of that tilapia right there. We're gonna have to throw it back out there and hopefully we don't catch, you know, another snakehead. I think this time, yeah, let's throw it back out here in the shallow end right there perfect so yeah we got one there the other one on the other side is still there that one hasn't moved and yeah guys this pond has a lot of fish we've had a lot of fun though caught a lot of stuff already but now it's time for the 24-hour fish trap guys we're gonna come back in a full day and hopefully we get lucky and get some monster catfish in the traps guys i'm very excited we'll see you guys in 24 hours
All right, guys, it is the next day since we placed our fish traps in the pond. It's been a little bit over 24 hours, and we're back to see what we caught, guys. Right now, go down there and like the video for some good luck, okay? Chances are, if you're seeing this video, we caught something crazy. Otherwise, I would not be posting it. So let's go see what we got in our fish traps. There's one that should be around here, and then the other is on the other side. It's starting to rain, but who cares, guys? Hopefully, we got ourselves a red tail. Okay, I see the first trap right there. It's not too far off from where we placed it. I think we placed it right here. So it moved a little bit. Could just be the current, the water, you know, moving like that. The line is all the way over there. I might have to get in again to grab it, but I don't see anything right now. Visibly, I do not see anything. The water is pretty dark, so there could still be something. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. We're getting back in. I better not get jump scared by another snakehead. Come on, anyone home? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh my God, big fish, I think. There's a Midas in here. Oh, there's an Oscar too. Look, there's a little Oscar. No red tail though. No red tail, dang it. That's fine. We still got another fish trap, but that's actually not bad. We got a Midas cichlid. Right here, there's an Oscar and then a giant Placo. Oh, a little Hopelo catfish over here too. Okay, let's try to get these guys out of the trap. Whoever made this trap didn't think it would be a good idea to include a zipper. So we just gotta try to fish them out with our hands. We got a bucky here. We're gonna load all the fish into it that we're gonna keep. We're definitely keeping that Midas. So there's an Oscar in here as well. Really cool. Oh, look at the red on him. Look at that. Oh, beautiful pattern on that Oscar. Cool. We got him. We got a Hopelo catfish and a giant Placo. I don't know how I'm going to get this Placo out. Hey, buddy, relax. Look, they ate like all the tilapia too. There's like only a little bit left. There we go. Don't rip the trap, buddy. There we go. Oh my God, it's massive. Look at that Placo. Oh, he's got scoliosis too. Look at his back. That is crazy. We are not keeping that. <laughs> We're going to throw this guy back. He's a big old boy. See ya. And then this guy, little Hopelo catfish. We'll throw him back too. We don't really want him. First trap is done, guys. Got a couple keepers, Midas cichlid and an Oscar. Let's go see the other one. Look, the rope to our second trap is still on the grass. Okay, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Might be good because I don't have to go in the water and get eaten by an alligator. And two, it might be bad because that might mean something big didn't take it to the middle. But we're gonna walk up on it right now and see what's in it. I don't see it. Oh, look, the, the pump shut off. Okay, I don't know where exactly we threw it. So that's fine, because we could just pull it in right here. Look, I'm fishing around. I'm gonna see if I feel any movement. It's pretty heavy, but I don't know. The trap's also pretty heavy. It's like really heavy though. Look at all the bubbles coming up. All right, there's our fish trap. Come on. I don't see anything. I honestly, I don't see a single fish. Holy. Oh my God. Yes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? There's two in there. There's literally two red tails. Oh my God, look at that. We did it. We actually just caught two in a fish trap. You gotta be kidding me. Look at them. Oh my God. That's a hybrid. There's a hybrid and a regular one. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, I got so scared. I didn't see anything at first. Holy crap, look at that. You have got to be kidding me. That's a hybrid right here and a red tail. Look at all, he's going crazy. Relax, relax, relax. All right, let's get him in the water. I don't know what to do right now, you guys. We did it though, we freaking did it. It's starting to pour right now. I don't want them to get their fins tangled up in the net. Let's see if I can get them out. There we go, look at that. Oh, he's grunting, he's grunting. Look at that, that's a hybrid right there, you guys. We did it. Okay, I'm gonna run this guy to the cooler and then we'll come back for the little red tail. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Look at this. I got a new red tail. So cool. It looks like his fins did get beat up a little bit in the trap, but that's nothing we can't fix, guys. We can treat them, get them real healthy. Oh my God, it's starting to pour right now. I am so in shock right now. I'm so happy. We caught two, not one, but two in a hybrid as well. Look how cool that fish is. That's a decent sized fish. All right, let's get the little red tail in here and then we're gonna head back to my house and get them into the ponds, guys. This is freaking insane. Okay, it's really coming down right now but i don't care i caught two red tails and a fish trap too that is just insane you guys look at this guy he is freaking adorable we also got another oscar in here honestly i'm not gonna lie i kind of don't even really want an oscar i'm focused on my red tail so we're gonna throw this guy back looks like the red tail or something ate him throw him back let's get our red tail baby out of here he's a decent size one he's really adorable come on buddy let's go there we go nice and easy ah! Ah! look how cute that red tail is he is adorable ah! Relax, relax, relax. It looks like his fin. Look at this, you guys. Can you see that? His little fin right here is so tiny. He's got a really tiny fin and then a normal one. We'll call him Nemo. He's got a little baby fin. All right, let's rush him back to the cooler. Look at this, you guys. We got little Nemo here. He's got a little baby fin and then a normal one. Look how cool that is. Decent sized little red tail. He's so adorable. Mwah! I'm so happy. Now he goes into the cooler. See the right fin? It's a lot smaller than the left one. So we'll call him Nemo. So insane, you guys. Oh, guys, it's freaking pouring right now, but we succeeded. We caught Midas cichlids, Oscars, and we ended it off strong. We've been going after these fish for weeks now, and we got ourselves a Tiger Shovelnose red tail hybrid and a red tail, both decent size. There's two more in there. We're gonna have to come back for our part two. Go down there, leave a like if you wanna see it. Right now, we're gonna rush back to my house and get these in the pond. Here we go. 
All right, guys, now on our way home to put our new catfish into the predatory pond, we made a stop at Pond X, and that's because we got ourselves an Oscar here and two Midas cichlids. Look how cool that is. Beautiful fish. Nice Oscar, too. So we're going to add them into Pond X because there already is a Midas in here and a bunch of Oscars, so hopefully they breed. So yeah, let's get them in. There we go, guys. Haven't been showing Pond X too much love, but there they go. New additions, baby. They're going to do great in here. Look how good it's doing. If you guys want more Pond X videos, let me know. All right, guys, well, we're going to head back to my house now and get the those catfish into the pond here we go all right guys and we finally made it back home with our catfish in the cooler let's see how they're doing three two one. Oh, they are looking good you guys they are so freaking cool a red tail and a red tail tiger shovel nose hybrid which i've never had one before i've really wanted one for a long time but i've never come across one check it out look how cool the pattern on that fish is just beautiful so that right there is a cross between a red tail catfish and a tiger shovel nose i have both of those but i don't have the hybrid so this is really cool guys we also got nemo this is why we call him nemo look at his right fin it's a lot smaller than the left one he's cute he he really does belong with us he's special so cool guys we've got two monster catfish i actually think we're gonna put these in the oscar army i think they're a little bit too small to go with the big boys they might get you know so let's get these guys loaded up in a bucket rush over to the oscar army and get them in their new home all right guys check it out we're here at the oscar army this is our pond full of oscars and other south american cichlids my god it looks amazing right now there's also a few species of catfish in here we got a lima shovel nose check that out big old giant lima shovel nose i think there's a big vulture catfish in here and yeah guys this is where we're going to be putting our new red tail and our red tail hybrid just to get them a little bit bigger until they're big enough to go with the big boys. Those are the big boys right there. Look how monster they are. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can kind of see right there. That is our tiger shovel nose. So that guy right there mixed with a red tail creates one of the fish that we just caught. But there's Ian. Look at the size of those. Oh, they would destroy those little catfish if they saw them. There's the little rip saw in the back. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at Nemo. Look how adorable that little red tail is. Oh, he is so adorable. Now, like I said, a lot of their fins are a little messed up from being in the trap probably them trying to break free and you know get out so that really sucks but it will heal eventually over time they will get nice and healed and uh be looking amazing but yeah guys we're gonna get them into the pond right now nice and easy buddy come on nemo oh my god nemo <laughs> look how friendly he is he loves being held okay oscars be nice ah he just bit my finger all right there goes nemo our new red tail catfish oh he is so cool look at him he looks great in there <laughs> That is so awesome, you guys. He is adorable. Look, you can really see how short his right fin is compared to the left one. So I think Nemo is the perfect name. Comment down below if you agree. But dude, I am so excited right now. We actually caught ourselves a hybrid. And guess what, guys? There's two more in there. So we're definitely going to go back for a part two and see if we can get them. But look how beautiful that fish is. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look at the pattern. Okay, buddy, relax. Let's get him into the pond. Three, two, one. Here we go. Woo! And there you go. Wow, that thing is so cool. He's big too, he's a lot bigger than the red tail. A lot longer, sweet guys. Well, they're gonna do great in there. We're gonna fatten them up, like I said, get them a little bit bigger and throw them into the red tail army. But yeah, guys, this was insane. I'm sure this video might be a little bit late. And that is because we've been going after these catfish for a week now, and we have not been able to catch them until now. We finally did it. So go down there, please leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.